Good morning, everybody. Th a big thank you for being with me today on March 15th. I am Kathy. Welcome to Yarn with Heart. So happy that you're here. Today in this yarn chat, I will be sharing three blankets. One is a finished item. Um, this is completed and ready for donation. It is inspired by a previous viewer submission. Um, the other blankets are works in progress. Um, granny squares, firstly, um, but not actually starting with a blanket pattern at all for the first one. And more about that and tips about why I chose the pattern will be coming up. And also an update about my knitting and how the half hour a day of knitting is going. Um, information about a completed item and what I plan for the remainder of March and into April about that knitting. And a hint, it also will be a blanket that I'm working on with that knitting, if all goes well. Um, next week will be some tips that I use when the weather starts to get warmer. I know it's sort of warm and warming up and then getting cold again right now, but in this part of the year, by March, I usually start thinking about my flowers for the balcony and when things start getting warmer. So this is a good time to start anticipating and planning, and that's what I hope to do. So if you have any tips and hints for warm weather crafting that you would like me to share next week, please add them to the comments or email me. And be sure to let me know if you'd like your first name mentioned on video related to those hints and tips. Also next week, we'll be sharing about a household item I made for the Tropical Bird Make-Along and an update on those whips from today. If you subscribe and ring the notification bell, you won't miss the next video on March 22nd. Welcome to everyone, those who have been with me for a while and those who are new. Um, those who are watching, commenting, and sharing, I really look forward to Fridays so that we can get together like this. So first off, um, I just wanted to share, uh, let's see, uh, let's share about a blanket. This is a a peek at a few scare squares I have made for what will be a granny square blanket. Hoping to have this completed in April. I'm looking forward to the flowers and some interesting information about this one. This is actually not a blanket pattern at all. And if things go well, I will share all the tips with this, of course, including where to find the pattern the designer and other details with you next month. Please wish me luck as I experiment and have fun with this. If things do not go well, I will still share so that we can learn together. So these are the squares that I've tried so far. You might recognize some of these yarns because they came in the Mary Maxim box from last week when we did the unboxing. Thank you so much for people saying, oh yes, those three yarns will work well together. Someone suggested adding in some white to pop the colors and that really did lift it. Um, also, I added in a little bit of green. My husband helped me pick which shade of green and I did add this variegated one because it included the same colors as came in the um, in the yarn one pound bags 
that we're in that merry maxim. So there we go. Those are the squares. And I do have a question. When I am starting and testing whether I will do a pattern, would you like that pattern info in the description box? Or would you like me to wait until they are actually finished objects before I put the pattern details in the description box? Could you please comment and let me know which you prefer? Because really, I think of this as all of our channel, and I would like to do what um, all of us would want to see happen on the channel. So please do comment and let me know. Um, so that's one of the works in progress. Now for a completed item. Um, okay, I think I'll do this one next. This was the corner to corner blanket. And it was um, a free pattern. This one's called the Red Heart Corner to Corner Throw Pattern. It was designed by Katherine Watson, revised by Bobby Anderson. It's free on Yarnspiration's website. I finished it using a five millimeter hook, Bernat Super Value Stripes in Wild Berry and Bernat Super Value in the color Damson. Oh, I've got it backwards. Here we go. Now, hopefully it's quite big. It's about 48 by 60, and I will lift it so you can see. There. And I'll put a picture up in the corner so you'll be able to see a picture of the blanket. Now, some tips about the color blocking of this blanket are in my video uh, from last week. You can watch my March, March 8th video if you would like to see that. I am very grateful to one of the original viewers on this channel uh, for her viewer submission that she shared with all of us on December 29th. Um, hers was a lovely baby blanket using the corner to corner stitch and a variegated yarn. She commented that striped and variegated yarns work very well with the corner to corner stitch. Um, here, and I'll show you, look how beautiful. Um, yeah, and also that Mikey's tutorial on the technique is very helpful. That was a tip that she had mentioned. So I used his tutorial to refresh myself on how to do the stitch and info about where to find the patterns, um, where to find videos by Mikey from the Crochet Crowd are in the description box. I'm so grateful to her. And thank you so much for sharing about that baby blanket. And also, if anyone else would like to share pictures or pattern ideas, please do email me. I'm happy to include them here so that we can all share and learn from each other. You just have to email me and my email address is always in the description box. Now, when I did do that blanket, this is how much of the striped yarn I had left. And that was from uh, five yarn balls. And I did have a bit more of the damson left. I had this and this. And I think I was working with um, maybe three and a half 
of these, but these were bigger yarn balls. These were actually uh, seven ounce balls and the striped ones, they were five ounce balls. So that was um, a fun one to do because of the blocking of the colors. And so the last item for today is uh, about my half, half hour of knitting a day. Now, I have to say, I have not done much knitting since being sick. Must admit, on many days, I did not pick up knitting at all. But I did complete one small item. Um, this is a baby hat where I practiced ripping, and it will be donated along with the pink and gray baby blanket that I showed in the February 16th video. Uh, this is, the pattern is called the Classic Ribbed Hat by Jake Canton from Pearl Solo. It's a free download on the pearlsolo.com website. And for this baby size, I started with 84 stitches. I appreciated that in that pattern, there were many sizes. So it went all the way up to a large adult size pattern. I used a 3.5 millimeter needles because the yarn I was using was quite fine. It was a pink yarn from a tangle bag of yarn that I got from Cambridge Fibers Limited. And I chose this pattern because it is very stretchy and it has an ample brim. So it will fit a number of sizes. See, there we go. So many sizes a child could wear it. And I measured six and a quarter inches before I started the decreasing. Now, I would also like to begin another knitting project. I am, uh, I am so grateful for people's well wishes and I am feeling better every day. So that's a good thing. And I've picked up my knitting again. Um, I started a blanket using Premier Toy Box yarn, and hopefully this will be a sampler blanket of a few stitch patterns. And I hope it's gonna make a cozy teen size blanket. And if all goes well, and I like the pattern of this yarn, I will have more about the progress in a few weeks, maybe next week even. So this is how far I've gotten so far. I have one of the, no, I don't have one of the ball bands handy, so I can't really tell you the color. Oh yes, I do, wait, here it is. Um, it's a discontinued color and a discontinued yarn but this color is called Hula Hoop. So if you do find it somewhere and you like this color, um, you can pick up some of those. And I managed to find a sale on it and decided to get enough to make a teen sized blanket in this one. So I look forward to um, showing you progress on those two blankets, hopefully next week. And to everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your crochet. Enjoy your knitting. And I hope to see you next Friday.